Tennessee Donor Services says only 44% of us, or 44% of eligible Tennesseans, are actually registered donors, considerably below the national average of 54%. In today's Health Watch, Tirsa Smith has a story of a Knoxville woman who is hoping to find someone willing to give her the gift of life. Joni Hodge has designed the life she dreamed of despite her battle with lupus. She married her childhood sweetheart, Donald, three years ago, and today they are in the fight of their lives. I am 37 and I have a lupus. And so it has been um, very difficult trying to get um, on the transplant list. So I am just advocating for myself, which is hard to do. Um, to get a living kidney donor right now so that I can just have a better quality of life. She received the life-changing news days before their wedding that she had to start dialysis. It was, it was hard because it was like, I just want to walk down the aisle. And I, I actually asked, could I wait to start dialysis so I could get married? <laughs> and she was like, if you don't start, you're not even walking down the aisle. And that, that put me in check. I said, okay, I, I hear you. Along with her beautiful white dress, a white bandage where her port for treatment was located. A couple of times I've gave him an out. Um, because I'm like, this is a lot. It's been a hard journey. And then I also have these that make big batches. She showed us her in-home dialysis room. A lot of people are scared of needles, but we stick with like big 15 gaugers. Oh so I always tell my mom I'm very strong. I have four days of treatment every week. And um, it is exhausting and it's, it's painful too because you got these big needles going in your arms. So it's just very tiring. Joni needs a kidney from a living donor because she wants to live. Being able to go and go outside and go on walks and have the stamina to do things, work in my garden, you know, just enjoy life. Be able to travel without having to think, okay, I got to plan around dialysis. Am I going to have to book some dialysis days? Am I going to have to go into a clinic so I can actually travel? Her health today is stopping her from completing her life's dream. Right now, I'm not able to have kids. And And that's all I ever wanted. I work with kids birth to three. That's my job. And to see all these beautiful faces and know that you're not going to be able to bring one forward because of being high risk with lupus and then also having lupus and dialysis in the same. So I'm dealing with two things. And so just getting a little piece of that back and getting the hope of maybe being able to be more fertile and have kids again is a big, that's a big hope. She joins more than 100,000 people in the U.S. waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. I don't want to have to always be on a machine. I want to be able to be free to plan. That freedom begins when someone decides to get tested to be her match. For Health Watch, Tirsa Smith, six on your side. Tears to mention testing right there. We have more information on what it takes to be tested and to be a donor on our website at WATE.com. Just search for this story.